What is going on guys? We are here back at the tabletop and we are doing an update video of the venerable Keltec P1722 LR semi-automatic pistol holds 15 plus 1 or is it 16 plus 1? I think it's 16 plus 1, right? Because P17, it holds 17 rounds total. 16 plus 1 capacity in a small, compact, lightweight, thin, portable pistol. And that's awesome. That's great. That's exactly what we need in a handgun. But none of that means anything if it's not reliable. And especially in a 22 uh, chambered firearm, whether it be a handgun or a rifle, of any variety, uh, reliability is utmost importance, as it is with any firearm for any application, but with 22s, due to the nature of the ammo itself, they can prove to be very, very unreliable, especially the weaker bulk box, low velocity, kind of cheap, dirty stuff, which most 22 is dirty, again, just because of the nature of how it is built, how it's made, how it's manufactured. But this gun right here, has been the most reliable semi-automatic 22 pistol I have ever fired. Bar none, hands down. Absolutely, completely and totally, thoroughly impressed with this gun. You get a, a plastic hard case with it, three magazines, you get the little uh, adapter to run a suppressor on it, uh, some stickers, all types of swag, the lock, the manual, all that good stuff. I paid $140, I think, for this brand new. Now, I work in a shop, so I get a little bit of a discount. Um, but realistically, normal going rate is around 200 or low 200s for this. And even if this was $350, $400 even for this, like some of the Ruger SR22s are, the Smith & Wesson M&P Compact 22s, stuff like that. Those are going for that kind of money. I would still choose this with, with the experience that I've had with it. Extremely accurate. Accurate. We got a nice set of high-vis fiber optic sights on there, blacked out rear like I prefer because you're supposed to be focusing on the front side anyway, and, and a nice high-vis green uh, fiber optic, which if it cracks or breaks over time, obviously can be replaced. The sights are adjustable, so you can really dial in the load. I found that it was extremely on point and accurate out of the box. Haven't had a single issue with it. Um, I like the little HK style ambidextrous levers for the mag release, okay, so that helps out with uh, with lefties, as well as the thumb safety, okay, ambidextrous, nice feature. Takedown levers, take to, you know, kind of like a Glock, although it doesn't come apart, uh, exactly like a Glock, it is a fixed barrel design, okay, so you have that to contend with, and you can look in there, hopefully, and see, maybe get a better picture from this side, how dirty this thing is. I've shot this thing over 2,500 rounds, and... I, even more than that, but stopped counting, and uh, and I, I haven't cleaned it once. I think I've oiled it a couple times, but I have not cleaned this thing once. I don't know how well the camera's picking it up, but she is dirty. She is definitely dirty, and uh, she has literally never once skipped a beat. Now, Caltech guns in general, especially this gun, has been extremely hard to come by. Uh, they're very desirable, they're extremely affordable, and a lot of people myself included, obviously, uh, several times already here on the channel have had nothing but good things to say about this gun. And that's because this thing actually works. Now I get it, kel you know, cheaply made. Look, the thing's bolted together with all these screws and stuff, and it's all pl plastic and polymer, and it just feels cheap. It looks cheap. Um, it looks different. It doesn't look like a traditional, you know, Glock or M&P or whatever. Um, it's kind of what you get with Keltec, and, and the supply and demand is always super high, okay? So they have all these cool, unique, different designs, which people love, uh, unique concepts, stuff like that, <clears throat> and then they can't make enough of them, and it's hard. It's hard for them to supply the, the demand that is there, and they've come into to problems with that with this gun specifically. These guns have been out on the market for a while now, and they're still pretty, pretty hard to get your hands on. Um, if you can get your hands on one of these, I, I would definitely buy it, 100%. doesn't matter what color it is. They make it in black, flat, dark earth, and then OD green. Um, if you can get it, you know, less than 300 bucks all day long. I mean, like I said, even for $400, I would buy this gun and be perfectly content with it. But that's not what kel MSRP is, okay? This is supposed to be sold on the shelf of your local gun shop. Always try and shop local when possible um, for, for easily less than $300. And sometimes, a lot of the times, at least during normal times, 
less than 200. So for the money, these, these make excellent little trainers, excellent little plinkers, little kit guns, uh, something to take camping with you, something to keep in the tackle box. For the money, if you can get them at the right price, you can have several of them, leave one at the cabin, leave one in the truck, you know, whatever. Um, it does have a rail on there for lights and lasers, and this thing has proven itself more than enough reliable to me to, to use self-defense wise if I needed to, if I was carrying a 22. Uh, if you were going to put this in a bug out bag or something like that, the gun's light, the mags are light, the ammo's light. It's still more than a lethal option for self-defense, and you can hunt small game with it. There's just a million and one reasons to have a gun like this, and I think out of the guns available for this type of genre, um, at least in my experience, the kel P17 reigns supreme. So that's what I got to say about that. Quick little update, just letting you know that I've been shooting her. I haven't stopped shooting her, and she hasn't stopped chugging along. She works great, and you can totally buy with confidence this kel product. My opinion and i uh, appreciate you guys watching make sure you like share comment subscribe all that stuff helps out a ton an absolute ton you guys have no idea constantly fighting that anti-gun uphill youtube algorithm and uh, it definitely affects the channel here so all the participation on the channel is much appreciated uh, make sure you check the first three links in the description box below. Those are to help you fight for your God-given gun rights, even if it's just a little 22 plinker, because uh, they are constantly under attack and forever important, and we need to do our part, people. So right call, protest, civilly disobey, take it further than that if need be, okay? We the people are supposed to control this country, and we have let that slip through our grasp, and we cannot lose the Second Amendment, because without that... Can't do anything about the rest of the problems. So anyway, guys, appreciate you guys watching. If you want to support the channel, there's plenty of ways to do that in the description box below. And uh, subscribe if you haven't, if you want to, and then make sure you ring that notification bell. I don't know how much they actually work. You guys let me know in the comment section below, but um, please try and be notified for when I post new content. I'm posting new content all the time, and I always appreciate you guys showing up, interacting checking out the channel, having little discussions and debates in the comment section below, all that stuff. I try and respond to every single one of my viewers, and uh, that's what I'm here for. So thank you guys again for watching. Make sure you check us out every Sunday, 8.30 Central Standard Time for our live chats, where we talk about all this good stuff. And anyway, I'll quit ranting at you, and we'll catch you next time. Peace.